Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 94. Dominique, do not log yourself out. Got it. Not leave meeting. Got it. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. Together, well, what is the answer? And it is Friday the 1st of October. Happy Lincolnshire Day, everybody. Happy Lincolnshire Day. I'm claiming myself as Lincolnshire because I've lived here 32 years now. So that's longer than I've lived anywhere else. So I know you're true Lincolnshire, aren't you? Ah, uh, yeah, I am true Lincolnshire. But, you know, yeah, I think if you've been here longer than you've been anywhere else, then... Yeah. Nice mug. Nice mug. Guess where we've been? We'll tell you all about that. Yeah, it's been a nice little mug. I thought I'd bring that in. Um, so yeah, it's, it, yeah. First of October, autumn's here, although the sun's out and I'm still in my shorts and T-shirt. And um, Lincolnshire Day. It was, it, it's been a weird day though. It's been raining. Guess where we've been? We'll tell you all about that. Yeah. <laughs> Turn us off. Honestly, I'm looking and thinking, where's that noise coming from? It's coming from my iPad on my knee. I'll switch it off. Um, it, it wouldn't be us if we didn't have something going on, would it? So, yes, happy Lincolnshire's here. It's been a weird day, you were saying, weather-wise. Yeah, it has, because it's been rain, windy, cold. I had the yeah. heating on. David had a fire on. Then I've been sat with the door open because it's so warm. I've, I've had... Trying to get rid of wood. I've, um... You know, as you get older, you look outside and you go, oh, it'd be a good drying day today. So I've had my bedding out and three times I've rescued it. I mean, it's a wrong, it's too windy to put bedding out, but it's dry now. I've no, it. you just need lots of pegs, that's all. And then the, um, I've got one of them retractable washing lines and the end snapped with oh. the duvet cover on it. Anyway, it's tied up now, it's fine, everything's dry. Everything's in, the rain stayed away. So, well, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. You'll be pleased to know that um, my puncture has been repaired. I am, I mean, she's not on yet. I'm blaming Sue. It was all Sue's fault. It was Sue's fault. Sue's fault. I thought, an order <laughs> came in, an order <laughs> came in, and I thought, I'll nip up to Dominique's because that was where the wool was. I'll go and do that, and then I'll get it posted in the same day. I'll just trottle up there so me and Dad had a little ride out in the car, all nice. Came back and I thought, and I'll, it was getting near the time of postage, so I thought I'll get in and I'll get it all wound. The guy of the car, all I could hear was this. I thought, oh no, that's not good. Yes, and there was a hole in the tyre. So I think it can't have happened far from home because the air was coming out quite a lot and my tyre was still full. Was, yeah. In a few, few minutes it was... Flat as a pancake. That must have been fairly close to home because they do, if the hole's that big, they go down really quickly, don't they? So if, if, if I hadn't decided to nip over there, I would have got punctured. They're, they're saying, thank you, Mull's here. I mean... It, you literally ordered it yesterday. Hello, David, we're live on. Hello, Wave. Hi. Um, <laughs> there you go. So... Um, that must be nearly a record. That must be... Less than 24 hours from order. Yeah. order to post out and puncture. So, um, yeah, I got a puncture. But the good news is I managed to get it fixed um, and repaired at the local garage. It's only £24. Uh, did oh. David get it off or did they come and do it? No, he pumped it up and hot-footed it down there. I wouldn't drive it, but he did. Hot-footed it down there. It was fine. Can so we just say, Marie's talking like... A mile and a half. Yeah, it's not far. I wouldn't have done it. I, I would have done it. I definitely would. But that, but yeah. I'm not saying she's driven that. Don't do this. Please do not try this no. at home. Straight road and he drove very, very slowly. And he got there and they repaired it. 24 quid. Bargain. Because it's a big, massive tyre. And I was thinking, oh, if it's a new tyre, Sue, I thought I'll be charging you like five times more for the wool. Good job I like you. Particularly, I, like you. I had just been in on Monday. I don't, I don't. I know. Anyway. Oh. Right, well, now your wall's there so quick, Sue. Can you just, you know, get it cast on and finish and start posting pictures, please? Exactly. Crack on with this. Um, but, I mean, the good thing is, at least, you know, it was a puncture and I got home. You know, it could have been worse. I could have been stuck somewhere with Dad. Yes. Um, but I wasn't. So, you know, you've got to look on the bright side, haven't you? 
when I got the message, I was at work, I did think, is this going to be an emergency run out from work? But you'd said you'd got home, so. Yeah, I, I was home. It was only when I got out of the car. Car handled fine, so anyway. Anyway, so yes, as you can tell from the yes. mug, we had an impromptu visit to Yarndale on Sunday, which was lovely as a customer, wasn't it? There was lots of open space. And those of it... Those of you that know us or have watched us regularly, you'll know we plan, you know, we plan everything weeks, months in advance, and Yarndale was no different. Six o'clock Friday evening. Shall we go to Yarndale on Sunday? Okay, what time shall I book a ticket? Well, what time will we have to leave? Oh, it's a two-hour drive. Well, we don't want to leave too early. Marie said, why don't we just stay over Saturday night? Oh, all right then. So at six o'clock Friday, we booked accommodation for Saturday night. Tickets for Yarndale. Done. And what we didn't know is that we managed to book accommodation in the same place that our friends, Kath and Marion, of Wednesday Longwall Sheep Shop, they were there. So we ended up having a meal with them, which was lovely. So it was it worked out really it, well, didn't it? Perfect, yes. Yeah. So yes, um, So we might have bought a few things, didn't we, Dominique? 23 hours from ordering to arriving. Sue, Sue is apologising for you, Taya. Sorry, it, it's not your problem, Sue. It was just very funny. If it hadn't happened then, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? And if you'd have ordered anything else, that was all at Marie's. There was yeah. just one thing that was at my... It, these things happen. It's an adventure. It hit me on my shoulder, Sue, because I got home and everything was fine. You know, it, perfect. Yes. Um, so, yes, we, we bought... We bought some things. Yeah. And then yeah. I might bought some things afterwards when we came home that I wished I'd bought and I bought. Both done that, but mine have not arrived. Mine haven't, so I'm not showing it this week and I'm not saying what it is, so I can do it next week. Yeah, well, I'll be the same. Um, um, we did buy quite a few things. Different things as well, didn't we? Not just wool, 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 wool. You did. Yeah, I did then. I mean, I'm looking at my, I will show you in a bit. Mine stash is not too, oh yeah, now I remember I did buy something that wasn't wool. You did. So do you want to start or do you want me to start? You start, you've got more, I think. So you, we'll, we'll just, you know, show you throughout the podcast. So before I forget, all the Christmas boxes have gone just because that's just on my mind. All the Christmas boxes have gone completely. Thank you so much. Yes. All gone. Um, so, um, yeah, we're all excited about those. We hope you like them because they have we been. Talking about that, shall we just say what we did on Monday? Oh, yes. Because yeah. we, you won't see, but on Monday we went and met Melly, had a coffee and cake with Melly of Rick Rack Room. Yeah. And are now in possession of the project bags that go in the December Detectives. Oh my God, we are so yeah. excited. We had a big, big box and it was lovely. So um, yeah, it was, can't wait. Thank you, we've said already, they yeah. were amazing. And you know, you've only got a couple of months to wait, Yeah, but you'll love them. We were very excited, weren't we? Because um, yeah, we were able to see them and it was just so cool. We like them. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so the, they've all gone now. So um, the last one sold out. So we're, we're completely full. The only other thing that we have got, which will be ending this week as well, um, may as well get the admin out all to start off with, is um, the Sock Club, the board game Sock Club, which is due to go out for the 1st of November. So middle of this week, um, that'll be finished as well. So there are a few of different bases. Um, if you still want to get in on that, or else it will be taken down in the middle of the week. Um, so it's this month. Yeah. Oh, it was all, all Cluedo. Yes. So the sweeties for this version are all have all arrived and all the, everything's ready. The sweets come to my house, by the way. The sweets yes. come to my house. So you'll be safe to know that they're still there. I've not seen them. No, you haven't seen them. They only arrived yesterday, to be fair. I don't think I know what they are. Yes, you do know what they are, but we can't say what they are. Oh, Cluedo, okay. that's all I'm saying. It's Cluedo. Yeah. Marie will tell me later. 
Oh, right, show your first purchase. The first purchase is the first thing I bought. So I went wearing my um, cardigan, my um, Sunday cardigan. And I love it, but I haven't put buttonholes in it because I just want it to wear as a cardigan jacket type thing. Um, but it was, the neck kept falling down a bit and I thought, do you know what? I could just do with either a clip or a button. Well, I was going for a clip and Dominique said, you get just like a button there and you don't need to put a buttonhole because it will just go through the stitches. So that's what we did. I went on a hunt and I found, because I've got the pink cardigan, I've got the blue cardigan, and I'm also knitting a white cardigan with the Frida yarn, but I've, that's really on the back burner. That is, you know, it's still there, but it's on the back burner. So these are the buttons I bought. Look at the colours. So the ceramic buttons. That was the very first store we went to. Yeah. So I've got three. So that's for me, three cardigans. Um, you can't really see the shine. So they're like a coppery colour underneath them with the blues and the pinks. And they are from um, Margaret L. Glackin. Um, and that's, that's her card. She designed beautiful um, yarn balls um, and buttons. That's um, all. That's all the information on it. Media, um, but that's a website and a contact detail. She's based in Yorkshire and she's a ceramic artist. Um, but yeah, the colours were stunning. Um, so I got I got those from there. But you bought something from there as well, didn't you? Because I don't know why I do this. I don't I don't buy. And once I've, once I've started buying, then I just go mad. But I don't buy straight away. I just look, because you never know what you're going to see. Um, so we ended up going back. I just bought a little... Um, <laughs> it's a bobby. At least if you're going to keep walking, you have to come in and say hello. It's an old-fashioned bobbin that they've put a magnet on. It's really nice, because it's even got the label underneath, hasn't it, still? The old yeah. school call label. Just the three pound. I've got because I've got some of those old bobbins, you know, that I made the little knitted. Yes. Um, well, I was saying, I was saying to the lady that was helping on the stall, um, she said, if you've got any to donate, because I said, I've had I've got I've had loads of these. You never know what to do with them, and I always keep them, and then you know, two years later when I'm having a tidy up, throw them out. But oh, I didn't you throw them out, Dominique. I'll have them if you've ever got any, because I can make things with them. Well, I always think I'm going to make things and then... You never do. No, I don't, I've not got any because I've thrown them all out, but um, they were. I just thought that was a really nice... Thing. Thing to put in. I, like, I like them because, they, you know, if you ever get, like, tiny little ornaments or something, they're nice as a stand, you know, to put them on as a, and stick them on as a stand. You know, like, you know, I like my little knick-knack knick-knacks. On my little shelves. Yes. So, um, but yeah. that was the first store we went to. And it's we... price. Yeah, you, yeah. You see, I'm terrible. I must admit, when I see something, I just I do buy it because I know if I like it, I like it. And I, and plus, because I I have, can't be bothered to go back again. That's me, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, and I suppose because it yarns, you just know there is going to be so much. And I think because that was the very first store. I couldn't be bothered to get my rucksack off and my purse out. It was just too much effort. And then I was chatting to the lady while you were buying. And then all the way around, I thought, it was £3. Why didn't I just buy it? So we went back. But, yeah, really nice idea. Yeah, some lovely things there. So um, that, was, that was on your wish list. Bought it as soon as we got there. Knew what I wanted. Off I went. Got it. Yeah. Uh, the, the other thing that I wanted that I knew that was on my wish list, this was the only other thing. Well, there was a few, three things on my wish list, actually. So the other thing that was on my wish list, I'd seen on them, um, Kath went to stay a lot. I've got a pigeon just sat looking at me outside the window. Um, is the um, Santa Bunting. I'd seen it. I'd seen that she'd put it on um, the Instagram page. Um, saying that she'd been making them up, and I was like, "Oh my lord, don't sell out! Please do not sell out!" Because you know I like, you know I like bunting, and you know I like Christmas. So the two together, look how cute they are, little Santas. So look at the locks in it. 
So you get your locks to make the beard. And these are the same beard locks that uh, James Herriot had on the um, last Christmas, because Cass provided the locks for it on the Channel 5. James on the new All Creatures Great yeah. and Small. So um, I'm not going to be doing that yet, but it will not be long before I'm cracking on and making that. Um, so I was very pleased to have got that. It's so cute. because so I've got the um, sheep, because she does different types of sheep bunting. So I did the NHS one when we were in the first lockdown. So that's still hanging up at my back door. So that'll go on the... Um, I've got another fireplace for another bunting, you see. So it'll go on there. So I yeah. knew I wanted that. So I'd have been very upset if I hadn't been able to get that. That pigeon is just looking at me like stupid animal. Um, so that was on my wish list. And we did, because we had um, tea with Kath and Marion on Saturday, you did say, put one aside for me. I did, so, so when I got there, there was one put aside for me. So thank you so much. Yeah, that was... Um, I think they'd said they'd been making them up again on Saturday, hadn't they? Because yeah. understandably, they'd been really popular. Yeah. yeah. So um, was there anything you were looking for? No. Do you want me to show you the next thing I was looking for and got? Yes. Well, the next thing I got is from our other favourites, the knitting gift shop. Oh, yes. Ian and Trisha. I mean, I'd seen these on their Instagram. Um, they'd been painting the noses, so I was giggling because I thought, oh, look, they've been painting those. I've got to have one. So they've got lots and lots of different designs of these Christmas ones. Now, I think I might just have to, you know, I'm going to end up having a tree full of these, I reckon. Um, so this one um, is the little Rudolph. I'll take they, were, they were all, well, all of their things. Oh, I love I loved their little Christmas decorations, but they've got... There was a few things we could, we were looking at, wasn't there? There was a lovely little uh, sheep pot, wasn't there? With all knitting utensils in with scissors and things. They, they do sell, as they say, the knitting gift shop, they do sell some beautiful gifts. Yeah. So this is what um, you knit. You get the wool and the charm to knit his little hat with a bell on and his little scarf. I mean, how cute is that? I mean, they, they are absolutely beautiful. I didn't get one, which might have been a mistake, but I didn't get one because, you know what I'm like, that is too fiddly. I know oh, I wouldn't no. do it. It's not. I just love, look at his little face. The only, it, the only thing I am going to do, though, I'm afraid, what am I going to do? Are you going to put some eyes in him? No. Oh, no he's got a hole in his head so you can hang him? No. Nope. Oh. He's going to have a glitter. He's going to have some glitter on his nose. Yes. <sighs> yeah. they, so, they, are, they are beautiful, but I just know. Um, so I, now we're into October, I think I can say it. It's my birthday soon. If I had a friend who like knitted little fiddly things, I, I think I'd quite like one of them. Would you now? Would you now? <laughs> well, I'm now thinking that I could quite like Mr Hammond to make me a little wooden Christmas tree, you know, just in the little base that I could hang all the little knitted ornaments on. You need twigs. And then you've got loads of hanging space. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. You yeah. keep putting up loads of log oak so it needs a nice base. Yes. And with a nice twig, twiglet tree. Yes, that's, that's what you need. And they'd all hang. And maybe we could get him to make two, Dominique. What do you reckon? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. That would be very nice. They were, two, they were the three things that were on my list as I walked in that I knew I wanted to get. Um, so I'm not even, I wasn't prepared. I didn't know what I wanted. You know, so I think you can't... I wanted around because there was nothing I desperately wanted. I just wanted inspiration. All I can say is I knew I probably didn't need any wool, but yeah. that, that fell foul, didn't it? Yeah. You know, I've got so much wool at the minute that I bought from Cornwall and then, but I saw some and um, yeah, but I'll let Dominique show you some of the stuff that she's bought now. Well, I've only got, oh, I can, I can show you, shall I show you the Christmas present? Well, it's a present to us, isn't it as well? We've got our own each. Yes. Stand by. Oh, just, oh, I've forgotten. Yes, you can go and get that. Yes. So um, 
I'm thinking now I'm going to have to go searching for lots of twigs to um, construct this Christmas tree. I need to need to go on a twig hunt. I need to go on a poo twig hunt. Well, now's the time after all yeah. this wind. Yeah. This is again. We saw these first thing, and yeah. the colour. I wanted and by the time I'd made the decision to buy them when we went back to get them the colour I wanted had gone but I'm still happy they are beautiful I mean can you see the call the cabling on it's beautiful isn't it they and were the a really good price and all 100% wool I mean, it's enormous. I can tell you the dimensions, Dominic. It is 1.5 times 1.3 metres. And it's top and bottom. It's British wool. But it's, from J.M. Cooper Knitwear in Leicestershire. It's, Pure wool. It smells really sheepy as well, doesn't it? Smells ever so sheepy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, that was from... Woolly Knits. Woolly Knits. Yeah. I mean... We said that a minute ago, um, but they'd got a, I mean, there were, that, uh, that colour snag goes with anything, but yeah. they've got tealy or light teal. Um, as I saw as we went past the first time, but it was on the first row again. Yeah. Um, well, to be fair, we, it, they were heavy to carry. We probably should have said, we'll have some of those and, and then pick them up later. But um because we went oh. for bananas for presents, didn't we? Oh, I wasn't going to have one. No. And then I said, oh, I think that would be brilliant for a friend of ours for Christmas. Oh, good idea, Mar Marisa. I'm getting one for myself. Okay. Are you getting one? No, I don't. No, no thank you. Thank you. Oh, go on. Because <laughs> by then I started buying. Yeah. Even Mr Hammond liked it and said to me, why didn't you get another one? <gasps> that never happens, does it? Oh. So, no. yeah. They, um, they were lovely and they're really soft. Um, perfect. So we, yeah, that was an impulse buy, wasn't it? But when you still saw them and the price of them, it was ridiculous not to buy them, wasn't it? Um, Pirio and Mandy both saying they got them as well. I mean, they were, they were brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good buy. Yeah. So um, yeah, we were really pleased to get those. But they must have sold loads of them because there was a big table piled high, wasn't there? Yeah. And, and that was on the Sunday. So um, yeah, so they'd have been really busy, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just needs to cool down a bit and then it's time to get yeah. your blanket out and... Snuggly blanket time. Yeah, so that was definitely not something I was going to get. I wasn't going to get that up until the point Marie said, can I have them two? And I was like, oh, go on then, just... And, and one sort of thing that I did, the other thing I wanted, I went on the mall on the, the, the day we were going and I thought, right, I'll get me cup. Grace bought me this lovely, like, bamboo coffee cup, you know, reusable coffee cup. No idea where it's gone. I haven't got it. I don't know whether it's in Falmouth or whether it's in an office somewhere. But I know I haven't had it for a while. So I was really hacked off that I didn't get me, that I didn't have a cup. So I, I did say, I know what, I'll buy one when I'm there. And I'd completely forgotten. But it was as we were walking out, we'd remembered, well, they did, they've done the new yarn, haven't they, this year for Yarndale. Um, so, of course, we had to purchase that. So... Um, it's called Nigel. So it's um, more muted colours. So it's blues and like heathery greens and cream and pink. You've got, we both got some, didn't we? So it's 75% um, wool, 25% nylon, 35% um, blue face Leicester. Um, but I, I, go on. I wasn't sure when we first saw it. I mean, I wanted some, but I wasn't sure. And the more I look at it, the more I really like it. And I think it's going to knit up really nicely. I'm exactly the same as you. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, it just looks a bit darker. But it, it isn't really, is it? It's quite bright when you start looking at it. And I think just because, like Barbara, they were just so, my colours. It was a rainbow. Yeah. I, I, I might have walked past this, but I actually think this is going to knit up really well. So, so oh, go on. It was really good because we've got the two balls of wool. And because you spent over £15, I got a free cup and it was like fantastic because I needed a cup. So thank you, Yardell. Um, and Claire, if you're watching or if you watch later, 
I will ask you if not, what um, fingerless glove mitt pattern did you do with your Hope yarn? Because I think that. It is very school tie like, yes. It you is very school uniform. It is. I'm going to make double knit socks out of mine, so I'm going to hold it double because yeah. there's always loads left over, isn't there? Oh, from the, the from the West Yorkshire Spinners yarn. So I'm going to hold mine double, I think, and make some thicker sort of boot socks with them. Well, um, did some um, gloves that were like the painting bricks, that kind yeah. of thing, cream, and yeah. they looked fab, and I thought, oh, I fancy doing something like that. Yeah, that would look nice with it. Pattern it was. So I will get the pattern from Claire. Um, but I'll, I will, there'll be enough there to do a pair of socks and a pair of mitts as well. So, um, yes, but that's Nigel. And I was thinking we had Barbara last year and Nigel. And all I kept thinking was they should have called them Barry and Frieda, as in the ballad of Barry and Frieda that Victoria Wood did. Don't ask me why. Nigel and Barbara are very similar names. And I was like, oh, it should be the ballad of... Barry and Frieda. So, Yandel, I think for the next two years, one should be Frieda and one should be Barry. There you go, Yandel. Yeah. It's their 10th birthday next year, isn't it? It is. Mm. It says so there. It does. It says so there. 10 uh, years, flipping out. Okay, Nigel's on his way to Caroline's. Perfect. I wish we'd have known Caroline because we would have just bought you some, but he's on his I know. I don't know why we, you know, you should have just messaged us because there was a few of us. And the other thing, it was lovely to meet up with some of the knit and natter ladies that we keep thinking we've met. Some of yes. them we have met, but um, yes, it was lovely to meet up. And, and one of them we met up with was Sherry, who was working on the Emily um, Falls stand. And um, another thing that I had wanted to buy, but I'd forgot I was looking for, was um, I got some of these. So the cocoa knits. Um, Oh, look, I've spilt them all. The multicoloured um, full pin, full safety pins. And I've got those because I needed them for my um, sweater, the nonna sweater, because I keep not dropping stitches, but I think I keep separating the wool. So every now and again, I look at it and think, oh, I'm going to have to pick that up. And, and, I'd, and I hadn't got any of these. I'd used them all off the Melly bags that I had. And I kept thinking, I need to order some. So when I saw them, it was perfect. So um, you can see I've got them, I've got them, I've got hung up all over the place. A lot of them I've put on the inside now. It, it's not that I've dropped it, but just, you know, if you don't pick up, cause it's, um, I keep splitting the wool when I'm knitting with it. It's just me. So I, yeah. well, I better clip, get them now so I can just um, sew them in. And the bulb ones are so lightweight as well. Yeah, they don't, they don't weigh it down or else I'd be jingling with that many. There's so many on it. Yes. I'm getting there. I've measured it. I've still got another three inches. What, before the rib or including the rib? Oh, well, before the rib. Because I <laughs> measured it against this. I know, I measured it against this jumper. It just doesn't seem to be growing. Remember, you've not blocked that yet, Marie. I know, I've pulled it. I've pulled it and measured it. I pulled it and measured it, and I've still got... A, Have you tried it on? I've tried it on, and yes. By the time I get my boobs in, I keep thinking, it's just not getting any bigger. That looks, that looks like it... Yeah. No, it's not. I have, I have pulled it, and I thought, I can't pull it too much, or else then it'll be too short. But I've got to say, I am slightly warm now in my coral reef double knit jumper. I'm getting slightly warm, but anyway... Um, oh, um, Sherry said Nigel's arrived with her today. Perfect. Oh, everybody's getting a Nigel. I think, I mean, we might be a bit biased anyway, but I do think um, Sherry and Grace on the Emily Fold stall looked the smartest. They looked so nice in their, um, like, lime green tops. And they just... It looked really smart. So you all look really smart, Sherry. I know you didn't win best show, but I think you were the smartest. It did uh, make me realise when we're walking around and you see people, a lot of them do wear sort of the uniform, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, but it's nice, isn't it? Look looks nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking we need a uniform. Yeah, but we need one that is not knitted because we tend to wear 
our hand knit. Oh my God, it was so warm in there. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was really warm. Yeah, it was very, very warm on that day. That kept their knits on, I applaud you because yeah. I'd taken mine. I didn't even take it out the car when we arrived because even at half past nine, when we went for breakfast, it was, it was warm. warm. The sun was so warm. Well, so. I had my cardigan on and I took it off, but I didn't realise how heavy it was to carry. It's really heavy, so I ended up having to put it back on again because it was easier wearing it than carrying it. That was the least of the morning. Was it more morning to be hot or was it more morning to mourn about my bag being heavy? So I put it back on again. But it was very warm. Yeah, it was a yeah. warm day, which is nice. Makes a change to how it was the last time Yarndell was on when it chucked it down, didn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And then in September, it could go either way, couldn't it? But this week, it was really warm. I mean, Lucy's saying with your T-shirts. I mean, we could, Lucy, and we could have different slogans for different days, couldn't we? Well, in fairness, we had, when we very first started, we had winter aprons. We did. They didn't last long, did they? Because we looked like Saxon Spuds. Can you not remember? But also, they've not got pockets. They weren't practical. Nope. And then we've now got winter money bags. Yes, we like our money bags. I'm thinking that a T-shirt would be a good idea. I think we have said T-shirts in the past, but yeah. I mean, I've got mine already. <laughs> It hasn't got witter on it, has it? We need it. Need, we need a witter sticker on it. Or witter on the back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think right. we will for next year for the shows. We definitely yeah. will. We, we might have to get something. So, um, any other th any other phrases that we say or do, maybe we could have. So, we could just let us know. It's hard thinking to yourself. What do you say, isn't it? But I mean, we could just we could just go classy and just have the. Nice logo or something. Yeah, we could, couldn't we? Yeah. 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 We could. But um, yeah, it did look very nice seeing people in, in uniforms instead of, you know, we'll think about it. T shirts. Mm. Mm. Anyway, we digress. What else have you got there, dear? Uh, I've got some knitting. <gasps> I mean, I've not got a lot of knitting because we were away this weekend and. I was a, we were out on Monday to get Melly's bag so knitting time has been very limited but as promised it's the 1st of October I've cast them off yay well done so what time did you stay up to finish them no I didn't I cast them off on Wednesday night oh, fantastic at half past ten on Wednesday after Nitta Natter, I'd been on the rib and eventually I thought oh, I'm just so I cast them off Wednesday before I went to bed and then when I got in last night I blocked them um and they're just about dry because they've been out in the wind. So that is the Vancouver socks finished. I mean that's 50 grams and I've still oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, not loads, but I've still got three or four grams left. Wow. But look at the length of the rib. Yeah. I just oh, I can't keep going with this rib anymore. I'm just going to have to cast it off and have a bit left. So with a 50 gram sock set, you have a big, a good pair of socks. What are you giggling at? Well, Marion said, on our t-shirts, we need to have standby. Yes, we do. We do, Marion. Well done. Well done. Do um, so that is it. I will get together all eight pairs. I might get them all ready for you next week to show you the eight pairs from the Around the World in Eight Socks. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, that is, um, that's fabulous. I'm thinking, what, what have I just knit that in? That's fabulous knitted that's up. Fabulous 21. It looks really nice. I really like it. Um, it's taken, well, it's not taken me eight pairs of socks, but what I have learned in eight pairs of socks is I do like a plain pair of socks. They're too fancy and lacy for me. Nice, I've enjoyed knitting yeah. them. Yeah. I, I must admit, I'm a, I just like plain, you know, not yeah. too, I don't like too much cables on them. I'll just like plain socks. Yeah, I don't mind a bit of texture. They just remind me too much of school socks. We digress, yes, yes, we do that as well. Stand by, we digress. It could just be a long list, couldn't it? 
then we should have them on the back. You know, like um, bands or comedians just have the tour dates on the back. We should have a list of sayings. What a good idea. What a good idea. Witter on tour, it could say. And then we could have our list of sayings. I love it. Our badge on the front, so we look professional from the front and from the rear, as usual. Different. I'm writing that. Writing it down. Good. Keep them coming. Anything else? So that is a finished pair of socks. I mean, yeah, that's all I've knit on, really, because I needed to get them done. But they're done now, and I can move on to something I want to. Very good. So I've actually, I know I said I wasn't going to do this. I've cast something on. I mean, it, it's no surprise. It's not a surprise to anyone, is it? Well, the reason, this is my justification for it. I had got it into my head that this Friday I was receiving the Stephen West first instalment. I was all excited. I was all ready. Then when I actually read it correctly, you know, it's next week it starts. So I thought, oh, I've got another week. I've got another well, week. It's, nobody's corrected you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know. <laughs> Everyone must be sat there thinking, oh, I didn't, I didn't think it was. My Marine must know something we don't. Stephen West was personally sending it to me a week early. I think I just, do you know what it is? I think it's because we'd had the cord and we said the cord ended, but we decided that the cord would end so that, it gave us a week if anybody was starting. But I just got it into my head. It was starting. So it wasn't. So when we were away at Yarndale, we bought some wool. So I'll now show you the yarn. Um, so it was a beautiful stall. I mean, there was lots of, loads of different yarn. But this just drew, drew my eye. And um, the yarn is third volt yarns. And she had some beautiful yarns, didn't she? Yeah. Uh, and I chose... This colour, which what, is gold, it? and it's double knit, um, and um, it's called Waters of Mars. Oh, that's right, yeah. I love the name, and I just loved the colours in it. I think it was my Pisces was drawn to it, because it's just the waters. Um, so I got, I passed on. I knew you would. I'm surprised it's taking you this long. So I've cast on a jumper. I mean, it just looks tiny, doesn't it? But it, it's not, it needs stretching, it's on my needle. So I've cast this on and I'm doing um, Lady Whistledown sweater. So that's the pattern I'm doing. Um, so it's just plain on the front and it's got a pattern detail on the, um, on the side. And that's by um, Twin Set and Pearl. Um, so the, you can sort of see on the, it's raglan sleeve. So you can see on the sleeve there, it's got this wrap oh, yeah. pattern. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's lovely to knit. Um, it does look small, doesn't it? Just needs it. I think it's just the way I'm holding it. But I love the colour. But I, I panicked that I didn't think I was going to have enough because I got 400 grams of it. So the rib is actually our emerald and um, denim that I, I have mean there looks like until you said that I couldn't see that you'd put contrast on yeah so they're um some minis that I had um so I just held them together but you can't really tell can you but it gives it just a little bit of a different it's got a little bit of sparkling you know like a bit of sparkle so I'm going to do the neck obviously the cuffs I might do I might do end up doing like longer cuffs depending on how much wool I've got left um, well, what, but, you know, I hate my sleeves too long anyway, so I always pull them up. Why don't you measure that one? Why don't you weigh that one? This one, I will do, because, I mean, it's, I like the shape of this, you know, this is a tin can knit, just basic jumper. Um, but I like the length, because the sleeves aren't, you know, they're not, they probably look a bit short to a bit, but I never wear my jumper sleeves down, I always end up pulling them up. But uh, what I'm saying is you'll know... Yeah, how much I need. Yeah. So, um... Yes, I'm really liking the pattern. I'm loving the way that the wool knits up. It looks really pretty. Yeah, really, um, really. And that base, she calls it the Hardy double knit. She does lots of different um, bases. I can't say that there, can you? 
Um, so it's 80 superwash merino, 20% nylon. But she had some really nice colours for helping us because I'd picked up four and hadn't realised that two of them were different bases. They were double knit, but they were slightly different bases. Not it's, low, it's Lola at Third Vault Yarn. So that was on my list. That was one of the stalls. I've seen lots of people use um, Lola's yarn and I've never had any. It was one of the one of the stores I wanted to kind of seek yeah. out just to go and see. And she'd got Nicholas with her on the yeah. store. They were both really... Yeah, really helpful, weren't they? But for me, it stood out. Just There was just something a little bit different about the colours and things. They were... I don't know, I just... They're all sci-fi. Yeah. Uh, inspired. It was just the vibrancy and stuff, wasn't it? Really, I don't know whether it was the way they were laid out or... Just sometimes you're drawn to certain colours, aren't you? And they were just the colours that I would have looked yeah. at. Yeah. So. No, it was it was really, really nice. But um, that was Sue that brought that pattern to our attention because Sue's going to knit it as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's a really nice pattern, Sue. So, she showed uh, knit a natter. Yeah. And I, I, I fancy doing it, but... Uh, I, I mean, I don't know whether I've done the right thing of doing it in a in a multi do you know what I mean because you may lose it the, the well, you won't see it you won't see it as much will you but no. you'll see it but it's it's just a nice shape I just fancy doing a raglan shape one instead of this only because I've, I've knit a few you know of these I do like the tin can knits but for me they do sometimes I think if, when I have the raglan it just fits a little bit better do you know what I mean on my bust I, I mean either way they're absolutely fine for me Yeah, Lynn. I, yes. Yes. I mean, I'm not saying it's never going to be accurate, but if you've got a jumper that you like the fit of, the length of the in the body and sleeve, yes, that is going to give you a good idea of how much yarn you're going to I'll need. Tell you what, I'll just nip and I'll just wear this quickly. Go on then. Go on with. I won't strip off in front of you all here because I mean, you know, as much as I really don't care, I'm sure you all don't want to see. We'll get taken off the internet. We would get uh, taken off the internet. Because Marie had picked, I think, three up and Omen and Orin, and particularly if you've not got the pattern in front of you, and they, so you've not got that as a guide, if you've knit a jumper before, just, I always think, weigh it, and it's going to give you a good idea to know how much you're going to weigh. And it's the same with, well, it's the same with anything, even like a pair of socks. If you've got a pair of socks that fit you and they know the length, weigh them, and you know it's only going to be, well, that's, I mean, that was a 20 gram mini. I've got loads of that left and I've got, I had 70 grams and I bet that's only just over 50. I've not weighed them yet. Um, so, yeah, it's a good idea. While she's weighing that, third volt yarn, oh, she's back. Go on. I'm in trouble. Why? 540. Oh dear. Oh dear. I would never thought it was that much. I never thought this was. I never thought it'd be that much. No. I might have to buy another another thing because I would say that the, you know, the rib isn't that much. Do you know what I mean? You, you're not going to use that much. So I'm going to need five, aren't I? What did the pattern say? Oh. The what? The pattern set, but on the picture, it is short. Do you know what I mean? That you can see where it, it is quite a short jumper, isn't it? Yeah. And the pattern says for the size I'm doing, which is the size three. Um, mine is uh, how many meterages on it? I'm the same. I'm the same meterage. And it says you need um, 940 metres. And how many, what's your meterage? My meterage is, I keep looking at the wrong one. My meterage is 225. So you've got 900 metres. Yeah, but I want it longer, don't I? This jump yeah. is a bit longer. Yes. So I'm probably going to need another... Unless I make ballerina size, ball, ballerina length sleeves. 
But if you do, so you're only 40 metres short of what they've said. You've already put some in the rib. Yeah. And if you, do, if you do contrast rib for your sleeves and your thing, you, you're not going to be anywhere near that metrage, are you? No, but the jump is shorter. Yes. So I would say I probably want about three inches longer on the jumper. Right. So I may have to, I don't know, I might just wing it and see how it go. But what I'm saying is you could do that three inches in rib in your contrast. Yeah, I hate long rib on jumpers. Okay. That's just me. You've just said you're going to make it longer, the rib longer. On my sleeves. I don't mind on my sleeves. I hate long rib on me on me hip thing. Don't like it. Don't like it. Um, we yeah, we're gonna need bigger buns. Um, um, so having gone to third fault, I wanted to go. So I did this. Other than Nigel, this was the only yarn I purchased. Um, and again, it was the colours. Don't ask me what I'm gonna make with it because we don't know. Well, this I think is going to be a pair. I don't know what this is gonna be. I just love the colour. It's so you that colour, isn't it? When you when we went on there, it was like. That is perfect, that colour. So this is uh, the Caroline DK. It's 100% superwash merino called a New York egg. Um, 230 metres. Oh, I didn't realise it's 115 grams. Oh, I didn't realise that. I'm just going online now to see if she's got another thing. Yeah, I was thinking it was really squishy. And that's why, because it's quite a plump DK. Um, ah, so I like that one. I mean, you'll see a theme, and then this one is a four ply. I can hear it coming. We're still on the. We're still on the internet. What? <laughs> poking his head. Hello, hello, Dad. We're still here. We're still hello. talking. Hello. Are you coming to sit uh, down? Yeah. I mean, just look at. They are. I mean, one's DK and one's four ply, but. Just the colours. That is called. Um, Biotics, I think. The. Bio Biotics. I think that's what it says. That's. And then lastly, I've just gone for a lighter one, but of the same colours. I just love that. Really pretty. It's and this one is 100% bamboo. Another four ply, 100% bamboo. That's 400 metres for 100 grams. And it not got a colourway on it. And so I just said to Lola, what's the colourway? Because she said, oh, I don't know. Um, Nicholas has not named it. I said, oh, you need to call it Kingfisher. And he agreed, but whether or not he will. But, so I'm going to call it Kingfisher. So. I, I mean, I've just gone all greys with flashes of colour. So that one, I think I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to do that for me. And I'm going to do, oh, what was the Heidi Alanda one I've done twice? Whatever the Heidi Alanda one, sure, I remember. Twice. At Lily Opsida. I'm going to do a lily opposite because I love that one. I gave one of them away that I made myself as a gift. I love the shape. And that, so that is definitely going to be in the bamboo is going to be fab. And them two, who knows? But yeah, I was really pleased to go and see Lola. Um, and eventually, you know, finally get to squish some of her yarns. And she tempted me. So. And I, oh, look, I'm still there. I'm, They've got one. I'm just adding it to my basket. Right, I'll be happy. I've got another one. Because I also bought another one while I was there, and I really like this colour, and I thought I might put it together. This is another double knit, but again, it's the 100% bamboo that I went for. Um, when I bought, I bought some wool, mm, when it was the... I mean, honestly, like comedy. Can you turn your volume off, please? Um, so I bought some double knit. I think it was from the last Yorkshire yarn, yarn show. And it had these sort of um, corally colours in and things. 
Um, but the drape on it's beautiful, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may just turn it into a one skein shawl because it is. So Was it soft. not your ones from Falmouth from Stitch? No, the ones from Falmouth with purples and pinks, and the other ones I got two. I can't remember where they were from. So this is called Smoke Land and Flame. Really pretty. Um, I don't know whether I'll put it with the others. It just seems maybe a shame because it's it's just soft and drapey. Um, Is he, has your dad been to Poland? Um, no, he's been to Walsall, but when he said it, I thought he said Warsaw. Okay. Walsall. And I couldn't resist as well from um, Third Vault Yarns as well, this little crafty <laughs> brooch. I really like that as well. So I, I purchased that. So but, we're, we're, um, we've we, got the brooches, but with a crochet hook as well. Yes, they had... Um, they had lots, didn't they? Right, proceed to check out. I'm, I'm just doing my shopping while I'm here, you know. Um, I thought I'd written it down, what you'd bought last time, but I can't, it must have been a while ago. I can't... I've got them on the I, table. Do you want me to go and get them? Oh, no, you were just saying that you'd got them to go with something, yeah, so... Well, I'm thinking they might. I don't. I might put them together as a jumper. I'll show them on another time, because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I did get it because I thought it would go, and it does go with one of them, but I'm not sure it goes with the other one, if that makes sense. Right. So, um, I don't know. I mean, it's just, like a lot of you, we've just bought because we like the colours and they were pretty, exactly. not really to go with anything. Yeah. Or so we, we bought quite a bit from there, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah, we bought quite a bit from there, so it was uh, it was good. We need bigger buns. Yeah, that's another one to go on our list. Definitely. Oh, Dan, I've written it. Written it. It's on the list. Um, that's it. That's all I've. That's all my purchases. I have bought a blanket and three. Oh, and my pincushion and three skeins of yarn. Well, I bought something else as well. Yes. But we're sharing this one, aren't we? We're yeah, we are sharing it. Um, so, from the wonderful Ducky, Ducky Darlings. And it was lovely because we went there at the end, didn't we? And we had a lovely chat with them both. I just need to apologise because, Hayley, we were first of all, we were chatting to your husband who passed all the tests that you set for him. Absolutely. <laughs> They'd got yeah. the paint bricks um show by Stephen West on display that looked stunning in their yarn in a rainbow colour and we went and asked what it was um he remembered he said oh he's, he always gets tested and he'd remembered what it was who it was by um and then Hayley came across and we stood chatting for ages and Hayley we never did get your husband's name so thank you very much Mr Ducky Darling as well. Yes. Mr Ducky Darling you did an excellent job because he did he answered every question correctly so he had been briefed perfectly yes. um, so it was it was very funny so um we bought and we're going to split it um one of the sock blanks that they do sock tube sock tubes i mean they're huge i mean you could just wear it as a scarf and just not bother doing anything else couldn't you you know you can't be bothered doing anything else with it so um you get it all knit up it's got a little bit of contrasting color on as well um, so out of this, we're hoping to get two pairs of socks. Well, we will. We'll get two pairs. Oh, easily get two shorty. Um, and they're a really good idea. And I know some people aren't sure what you do with them. Um, but you literally, first of all, I'm going to chop it in half. Not as drastic as it sounds, but, you know, get a pair of scissors. It really doesn't matter because we are sharing it. You can snip it and take it stitch by stitch if you want. Life's too short for me. I'm just going to get my little pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut it. In fact, I'm going to do it now because... No, no, because you need to put the stitches on hold. I can put them down and they'll be absolutely fine. I'll be able to put them on hold. Stop panicking. They'll be absolutely fine. So I won't do it then because she'll get in a, in a tiff. So all you do is you just snip one of the stitches and then unpick it. But I will literally get my green scissors and just cut it in half. Right. Um, there's a fantastic video of how to do this on Ellie from Craft House yeah. Man because you need to put them on stitches on hold. Put them on hold. Yeah. Well, she doesn't put them on hold before. She literally unpicks them and then puts them straight on. I've had a look at it today. 
She literally unpicks one stitch and then pulls it out very delicately and then puts them on hold. Well, then everyone does it different because the ones I've seen and the, when I've done it, I always put the stitches on hold because I cannot be bothered to catch them up when they fall. They're fine. Or what you can do as well, which is sometimes just as easy. I don't know if I've got a... Oh, I have got some here. No, I'm not done. I'm still talking. Um, not yet. Yes, don't understand. So what you can do is, oh, that's about halfway. So can you see with the light? Probably not there. there. So all you would do is pick up one leg of each stitch. So like that. Yes. Trying to get, trying to get the light. Yeah. So, so if, you, if you do panic about losing them, which I wouldn't see, because I just crack on with it. So there, all I've done is I've picked up one of the Vs. So you just go along your line and pick up each one of the Vs. And if you really wanted to, you could do it on both sides and like leave a line and then that's where I would just cut it. So you know you've got your stitches. Yeah. Um, but on Ellie on Craft House Magic, I had a quick look to see how she did hers. She literally cut one stitch and then with a needle, she like unpicked each one and then picked them up afterwards. But oh, everybody, well, everybody does it differently. The ones I've seen, they have put the needles in first because normally you're only ever doing that's when you put an afterthought healing you're only ever cutting through one side of the fabric whereas when we're splitting it yeah we're going through both fabric that you're going to put your toes on then you're going to do the same for your heels but only cut through one side of the fabric and yeah. then put your toes on yeah um, so cool. it was mr duckadanas that does all the cranking he's yeah. got machines he said and he does all the cranking although he did say that if it goes wrong if it drops a stitch he does have to call Haley, yes. um because he can't quite put them back on yet but he did yeah. say it's very rhythmical isn't it yes so what i will do is we'll we'll show you progress but the easiest way to do it is to use a small needle this size is a is a two and a half mil um, I've nearly done one side now, so you can you'll be able to see it. Yeah, I mean, I know. Yes, I should be telling you the right way. You're absolutely right. But I'm being honest. All I would do is I would chop it in half, and then I would sit and pick them up quickly. Because it well, doesn't that... run. It doesn't. It can run if you mess about with them. This is me who gets in a tangle. I would cut knitting and then just pick up the stitches. I've done it with jumpers. I know it's wrong. If I've done it the wrong way, I just cut it and then just. Worry but that's about it. when you're showing people. What, how to do it, we'll show you how, we'll show you how, it's like when you first learn a job, learn how to do it properly and then learn your shortcuts. It's absolutely right. Right, so there you can see I've picked up all that one side. So that side is all picked. And then I'll just use the other needle and do exactly the same. Um, and then turn it over and then do it on the other side. Yeah. That's how you do it correctly. Or, I mean, I get my half of this and it's going to be your half will have a piece of thread all the way through it so don't panic um but yeah i'm honesty i'm being honest i would just get a pair of scissors and cut it and then i and i get my needle i'd have my needle ready with me thread and i just whiz it around quick bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt off you yeah. go knit your scissors knit your sock. or if you can't be bothered with that just wrap it around your neck and you've got a scar um but it's beautiful because then it, all you've got to do is knit a bit of the rib, knit your sock, knit, knit, knit the rib as long as you like, yeah. put your toes, then Off decide how it's going to go. Yeah. And then it's a it's a really um, like Haley was saying, if you've got if you want to knit socks for people and you're not quite sure how long the feet are, yeah, I mean, you would still like you'd still have to find out at some point. But you can put your toe in your coffin. As long as it's not a surprise, get them to put the toe, put the foot yeah. in, see where the heel needs to go, whack it in. So I apologize, yeah. I should have shown you how to do it correctly, but as usual, you know, I just like to just crack on and just cut things in half. Which is absolutely fine. But we did say to Hayley, we'd show people what to do with it and it do is. not just... No. What I will do is I will put some photos. I might do a bit of a photo montage of, you know, how to do it correctly. Um, right. 
Yeah, there are plenty oh, of videos. Lots of videos, absolutely loads of videos, but I'll just do a quick photo of how to do it and also how Marie does it. So, you know, we can have two versions of it. But you don't mind picking up the mess. I can't be bothered once I've started dropping stitches. So I prefer to, which is not like me for most things, but I prefer to be prepared so I know I've got all my stitches. Yeah. I just, when stitches start to run, I can't, that's when I can't be bothered. As long, to me, whenever you do it, and this is from me, like I say, you know, as long as you hold it, so like I would, if ever I cut a jumper or whatever and I'm picking stitches up, I like hold the, I would hold the heaviest bit. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. that you're not allowing it. But yeah, it might go down one extra row. Um, if it's when, a, you, when you make a mistake and you rip your needles out and rip back. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's, if, when you rip back, you're doing exactly the same thing, aren't you? You know, yeah. you, some people will put a lifeline in. Do whatever is best. But yeah, the right way to do it is with, you know, a thread or... Um, the right ways to do it is how you do it. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. how, it's not how you do things do it i get in a disaster with knitting tangling but i i have cut many a jumper and after i've knitted it don't panic it's fine yeah it's fine it's fine knitting to show us other than your jumper no oh. i've got that i've cast on i've got my jumper um what else no more socks um i haven't cast on my chandler socks um, I've been working a little bit more on my Strictly Sock Along because I've been catching up on It Takes Two Strictly Two. So these are like shorty socks. So I'm not too far off doing my... Going to twist there. Not too far off doing my tour now. So I've just done them as short socks. Um, no. With a little bit of a stopped slip stitch. There, that's better. Um, so that's in the fabulous. So again, you can see how different it looks. So I think it looks different with the purple. Yeah, completely different. Um, no, I haven't cast on the Chandler socks yet. Only because I was I was wanting to try and get on with the non jumper. I've been going round and round with that, but I need something else on the go. So that's why I cast that with the jumper on. You know. What I about did. what about your shawl that you were knitting? Um, Michelle, I was doing a bit of that while you were driving, wasn't I? Yeah. Have I got anything? No, I think I've just finished the orange. Right. So I just need to decide on the next colour for that. But again, this isn't something I'm, I'm that bothered about because I'll just keep working on that as in, you know, when I want to change from knitting jumpers and socks. I can't just have one thing on the go. It must be nice just to have one thing on the go. Um, sorry. I'm just... Messages coming in and I'm changing between screens. So I haven't got anything else. Have you got anything else on? But one other thing. Now I've finished my Vancouver socks. I can um, concentrate on. We did go. We did try and go and see Joe Piccolilli, but she was busy. Yeah. They were busy every time we went past, weren't yeah. they? So I've managed to get. I'd neglected, I'd neglected the second sock. So I'd got one, I'd got one sock done, and then I picked the other one up. So actually, they're nearly at the same length now. Um, but that's look, you can even do that. That's the mouse trap with just a bit of texture for the Hermione everyday socks that I've just done toe up rather than cuff down. Um, but I mean, that was a 50 grand ball. I mean, there's just nothing out of it. Oh. Well, those strictly socks I'm knitting, that, uh, knitting, knitting is a 50 grand ball. It just doesn't seem to be going down. It just seems to go on forever. Well, I was like that with the fabulous one. Yep. That's, I thought, I can't knit these puffs any longer. I'm just st stopping. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're easy to knit now. It's such an easy pattern. I don't need to think about it. So I can knit these. For the first week this week, I'm going to be in front of the telly Saturday night. So I can knit them um, as I can knit yeah. them up strictly. But yeah, that's, they're going to be my 
lunchtime socks now and my Strictly socks. So once I found the pattern that Claire did for her mitts, I might be able to cast Nigel on because I've got these socks on the go now. My Cushelig that has had no, no, not a stitch knit on that this week. Let me see if I can find you that pattern while we're talking because it'll be on our knitting that page. And um, I'm looking across my Margot jumper that's not had anything knit on that for weeks and weeks. And then I've still got my After the Rain to cast on. Yeah, I've. It's just got busy and it's going to be busy now. So the amount of knitting I'm going to get a chance to do is going to reduce, but. That doesn't matter. Uh, things will get done when they get done. Was it that? Yeah, that was it. That was well, it. Everlasting sock pattern. Everlasting gobstopper. Everlasting gobstopper. Because it was, I wonder, because that was when we did our challenge of Dick the Van Dyke, and that's what she did. It's the everlasting sock pattern inspired by the everlasting gobstopper. But are they socks? Yeah. I thought she'd done some. I'm just looking at photos of Claire's and that's that's the one I was thinking of. But yeah, they're socks. Oh, I'd got it into my head that she'd done. Or maybe I'd seen the socks and said you could turn them into wristies. Yes. But they're with her hope socks, aren't they? Yes. Her hope on. Yeah, the Unveil Hope. Yeah. It must have been then. Yeah, thank you, man. I am. I'm really... They're not a combination I would particularly get. I'm really enjoying them. Yeah, I like they look them. nice. And oh. that's... So that was last, you know... That was Mousetrap. Yeah, yeah. Mousetrap. One of the things that we've got... Cluedo, all the sock clubs to die up. The December Detectives to die up. Um, and then Wind and... All Which the... Retreat stuff to do, so we're busy, 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 busy. I've got a feeling it is going to be now we're into October, you know, it, we're going to be flat out, but yeah. good, enjoyable. But that is going to leave little time for knitting, I think. So the knitting I'm going to do now has to be thoughtless, just I don't No, but in as much as I don't want to be reading yeah. patterns, no, I, I know cannot... patterns. Because I I need to be able to just do it in knit and natters, yeah. um, and not a complicated pattern. Yeah, that's why. Like on Wednesday, I was able. I just got onto the cuff, so I was able just to do the cuff. Yeah. Um, but trying to do, I did try on Monday. I can knit a pattern knit and natter, but everything slows down because you get halfway across the row and then think, oh, where was I? What was I doing? So yeah. Knit that slowly, you might as well knit something that you don't have to think about. So, um, but whatever I cast on next, obviously will go in one of my Christmas project bags. So it's all going to be Christmas. We showed you last week, it's all going to be Christmas from here on in. Glitter DPN's Christmas bags. Exactly. I mean, it's just, you know, I've got my glitter on today, my jumper, even though I'm sweltering now. Well, I'm sweltering and I'm in a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. I think it is warm. I think it's yeah. because I'm sat with the sun's coming through the window. So don't forget to keep. If there's any other sayings, yes, let us know. But I'm thinking that is going to be a perfect te te teacher T-shirt. Oh yes, that was the bookmark, wasn't it? That was the bookmark we got with when we got in at Yarndale. I thought that was really handy. Yeah, little ruler. It's a knit for people. Um, bookmark with a very handy. It just needs laminating. Why? And then it's a bit more sturdy, isn't it? it can go in your bag and you won't crease it. I might laminate mine. Oh, see, mine's going to go in a book. Uh, I'm going to use mine as a, a regular. No, I'm going to use mine as a. I and think so, I've got this, and I use this quite a lot. This ruler. This. Um, it's got the ruler and the side. I use that quite a lot, just, you know, for measuring short, especially on socks and things, I often use that. So I might, I might, um... I mean, I've got to be honest, I never measure anything. So 
You don't need it then, do you? No. I'm just thinking, what are you measuring? You you measure your socks so you know what you're doing, don't you? I just do everything by eye. But, you know. That, there you go. That, so. You can never have too many tape measures or rulers. That's what I say. I've got, I think I've got two tape measures in my little bag. So, um, yeah. But speaking of bookmarks and books, I've just, I had an email came through yesterday to say my book was, or my books were ready for collection at the library. So I need to go and collect them. I think I'm on books four and five of the Julie Wasmer. Ah, uh -huh, right. The Pearl collection and they've been brilliant. So in the meantime, I've just started this. Oh my God, I am really enjoying it. The murder game. Oh, is it good? Really good. It was a um, three for five pound in the works. Oh, wow. And so you, I, you never, some are brilliant. This is, there's, somebody's going to get married, a group of friends get together the week before to do all the presentations, someone dies. And then a year later, they all come back to the same place and somebody makes it a murder mystery party. So it just, I think it's really, really well written. So I'm halfway through and we've just got to a year on where they're starting the murder mystery party um, to, to decide what's happening. But I'll let you know, but yeah, really, The Murder Game by Rachel Abbott. That's a bargain, though, isn't it? Three books yeah. for either. Yeah. Because, um, I, like I say, I normally use the library, and I do. I'm waiting for the library. But three for five pound, Can't it's worth it, isn't it? It is yeah. worth the punt. So. I like the Christmas. They're Christmassy ones that they always do. You know, like chiclet, easy reading, Christmassy, you know. They're always yeah. all very similar, but they're easy reading, aren't they? They're back books. They might get wet. Exactly. They are, and I can't remember the other two I got, but they'd have been something similar. To, in fact, I think I found a second one, and then it took me ages to find a third one that I like the look of that wasn't a period. Look, I'm not that good with them. So, yeah, I, but it, what it's going to make me do is go and find Rachel Abbott and see if she's got any more, because this yeah. is... Well, you know, talking of wet books, I uh, when I got my suitcase out of your car and I went to... Um, Oh, she's oh. got loads. You'll be all right. She's got loads. I unpacked my case. And as oh. I opened my case, I thought, what's that minty smell? My whole bottle of mouthwash that I just bought. I'm assuming normally I decant it into a little one I only, when I'm going anywhere just for a night. But I couldn't be bothered, so I just put the whole bottle in. So I'd got a whole bottle. When I'd put it in from the hotel, I obviously hadn't screwed the lid on. Everything. Luckily, my iPad that was in there was at the other end and wrapped in something. All of my clothes had to be washed. And my book, the um, my Vaseline Calm book, has got a lovely minty flavour smell. It was absolutely bringing wet. It's, I think it saved my iPad, but everything was just... So my suitcase smells lovely and fresh and minty. But it could have been bottle. worse smells, but... It could have been worse smell. But I just, as I opened it, I thought... What's that? Oh no! Oh my jeans! Ev everything was soaking wet. Luckily, it had, my clothes had absorbed it, and the book. So the book, you know, when they get soaking wet and they go, they go like that, don't they? So the pages are like really thick now. It smells lovely. It smells absolutely lovely. So maybe I should have laminated that, Lucy. Flipping thing. Oh dear. But yes, I've just read it. It says, Rachel Abbott, the queen of twisted suspense. I've not even looked at the front. She's obviously done quite a few. So. What, other they, books she, what other titles? Are there any other titles that grip you? Well, it says, also by Rachel Abbott, D.I. Tom Douglas series, Sergeant Stephanie King series, and then um, there's a novella. Well, this is the second in the Sergeant Stephanie King series. Oh, but who, who knew? So, um, yeah, just another recommendation for those of you that like a good murder mystery. Um, and if you want your books to smell nice, just chuck a bottle of uh, mouthwash on them. And they're all really short chapters. And you know I like a short chapters. Big chapter. writing as well. No, not big writing, but um, 77 chapters. 
because then I can just think I'll just do one or two chapters. Yeah. Whereas if it's a 30 page chapter, oh, I can't be bothered sometimes. <laughs> um, well, nothing, nothing else. I've got nothing else either. Nothing else. Anybody, any questions? I said, no. No, I was just looking what else I'd written down for us to say. So don't forget, if you want um, Cluedo um, Sock Club, which will be sent out beginning of, um, before the beginning of November, um, you need to get it over the weekend, really, because we'll be taking it off the shop um, beginning of the week. So, um, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, all, that's everything. Well, Mar Marjorie, try it. If you can get it at the library or if you've got a works near you, See what it's like. Or if not, wait till the retreat and then you can have mine because I'll have finished it by then. There you go. I mean, you can't ask any better than that, can you? Yeah. In fact, do that, Marjorie. Wait, and you can have that when you come to the retreat. Then come to the retreat, Marjorie. And also, I do like to donate. Not, You know, I'm not going to keep it. It would normally go in, back in the charity bag. So it's nicer to give it to someone that will read it and enjoy it. Well, we're on the retreat. We only have, um, obviously, the retreat for November sold out. The retreat for March, there's only one room left. Um, so if you do want to come in March, um, that's when the, there's only one room left. And then the next retreat dates will not be released until November, well, beginning of December, will not release the next um, the next dates. I mean, I keep pushing it to put more in, but I'm, you know, I'm, it's like hitting me head against a brick wall, so... Two a year. But Marion will also bear witness to the fact you did say we should only do two a year. And then 10 minutes later in the same conversation, you keep changing your mind. I'm a Pisces. I go like this. Two fish, one that way, one that way. It's my personality. What more do you want? But we're sticking with two. We're sticking with two. We're sticking with two. Oh dear, right. Okie dokie. I think that's I, it. I think that's it. Thank you ever so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you ever so much. Enjoy the rest of your Lincolnshire day. Hello, yeah. Autumn. I might Although have to have Lincolnshire something for tea. We're, going we're out, out. We're out we're aren't we? I might have to have Lincolnshire cheese. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Lincolnshire sausage, Lincolnshire cheese, Lincolnshire potatoes. Mm. That sounds like a perfect meal to me. Sausages, Lincolnshire sausages, Lincolnshire potatoes and Lincolnshire cheese. That's me, I'm sorted. That's it. Just ring ahead and get them to put yeah. that on the menu. It's Lincolnshire Day. They should be celebrating. I think they might be. Lincolnshire bread. Ooh. For pudding with Lincolnshire custard. I've made, I made that up. <laughs> Not the gingerbread, the custard bit. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you all next week. Have a no good way. week, buddy. Have a lovely.